Gather round, dear viewer, as I tell you a tale. It's the tale of a woman who stood tall in the face of jealousy, cowardice, hatred and vengeance, and dared to utter a single word. No. It's the story of the girl who wouldn't back down. Our story begins a long time ago in a far-off land with a young woman who decided to become a warrior. Now, this was very unusual because few women chose such a path for themselves, but she was steadfast and determined to succeed. This young woman proved to be strong and brave. She fought and won many battles and earned herself great acclaim. But the young woman had her eyes set on a higher goal, and eventually she gave up her life of fighting, travelling instead to the great kingdom of Hollywood to seek fame and glory as an actor instead. And as it turns out, her long years of training and fighting served her well, and soon she was chosen for many roles on the silver screen. Her triumph was cemented when the king and queen chose her to play a soldier, fighting amongst the stars themselves. Her fame was growing fast, but sadly, so was her list of enemies. For you see, a dangerous cult was growing within the kingdom. A sickness of the mind that preys upon the weak, the hopeless and the pathetic, turning them into mindless zombies. Unable to think for themselves any longer, they could do nothing but recite the words of the cult leaders and form into vicious mobs to attack anyone who questioned them. All of the kingdom lived in fear of this cult, because few were brave enough to challenge it. Not even the king and queen, with all their wealth and power, because they depended on it to stay safe in their big, comfortable castle. And certainly not the actors, who were mostly self-absorbed cowards that cared only for applause and approval. In fact, most of them even pretended to be in the cult themselves, because it's easier to sacrifice your dignity and your principles rather than stand your ground against the mob. But the young woman was different, and when the cultists tried to turn her into one of them, she didn't just refuse their offer, she openly mocked them. Suddenly, the free people of the kingdom were laughing at them and their beliefs, and their power was shaken. The young woman had just become their enemy, an enemy that had to be destroyed at any cost. Again and again the mobs came for her, but again and again they were beaten back. Their rage and frustration knew no bounds. Here was an enemy that would not bend the knee to them, no matter how much they screamed at her, and could not be defeated by even the fiercest mob. An enemy that threatened to expose them for the weak, frightened, pathetic individuals they had once been, and deep down, they still were. Sensing the growing power of the cult, and their ability to turn friends, families and neighbours into enemies, the young woman tried to warn the kingdom of the threat they posed. She even gave examples of other evil cults from other kingdoms who had once done similar things, and in that decision lay her downfall. Simply by naming them, she had inexplicably tied herself to them in the eyes of the cult. She had exposed a chink in her armour that they could exploit, and exploit it they did. The greatest mob the kingdom had ever seen gathered at the gates of the castle, demanding the young woman's head. And the king and queen, desperate to stay on their shiny throne, finally gave them what they wanted. The young woman was brought down and handed over to the mob. Her so-called friends had deserted her. The cult had won at last, because no one had the courage to stand against them. No one except the girl who wouldn't back down. But the king and queen's reprieve would be short-lived, for the people of the kingdom had seen them for the cowards they were, and would no longer work to protect their castle. In fact, they turned their backs on them by the thousands, leaving the kingdom far behind, until at last, the mob came for them as well. Too late did they realise that if only they had stood with the young woman when they had their chance, all of this could have been avoided. But of course, this is just a story from an old drunk. It's not like something as sinister and pathetic as this could ever actually happen. Could it? Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Go away now.